Okay, how you all doing? And welcome to video six. Uh, in this video, I'm going to go over uh, keywords. Uh, it's going to be a two-part video. Uh, part one is going to cover how to uh, get a keyword list, uh, download it, and turn it into a text file. Uh, in part two, uh, that's going to cover how to isolate keywords to send to your writer so that your writer can write uh, niche articles that will rank highly in Google and bring you lots of traffic. So let's get into part one. Okay, so here we are at the uh, Google uh, page, google.com, um, and we're going to use the Google AdWords keyword tool, it's a free keyword tool, uh, to get our keywords. And you can find that just by typing in AdWords keyword tool and doing a search and it's usually the first result okay if you have an AdWords account uh, it's better if you're signed in because you can get a whole lot more results than if you uh, were to just use the keyword tool if you use the keyword tool like this you'll get a hundred results but if you signed in uh, I think you can get as many as 800 results so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, sign into my AdWords account and this way we can uh, make full utilization um, of the keyword tool okay so now I'm signed in so our review um, was something to help people repair their marriage so to find keywords um, to write niche articles about it to have our writer uh, write niche articles about we're going to want to punch in um, what the actual product was about and I want to type in marriage help and click search now what's going to happen is the uh, keyword tool is going to pull up all of the related keywords uh, that I can use to focus on for my niche articles and when I publish these niche articles to article directories, um, that's how I'm going to get a lot of my traffic for our review. So there's a lot of information on this page. The actual long tail keyword is here, obviously. And then there's something called global monthly searches. And that is how many times the keyword is searched on average per month. Now, a lot of people pay attention to this number here. Uh, people say, well, you know, it needs to be over a thousand or needs to be over two thousand or else it's not a viable keyword. I actually don't go by that. Um, I, I think that even 390 global monthly searches is something worth writing an article for because it's still targeted traffic. So there's really no harm in doing that. Now I'm going to show you, this produced, uh, like I said, 800 results. So I'm going to show you how you can download this keyword and uh, download this keyword list rather and turn it into um, a text file that you can that you can keep and it'll be like your keyword master and that's what you'll work off of when you isolate keywords to send to your article writer and in turn your article writer is going to write niche articles for you with those keywords. Um, this part of the video I'm only going to show you how to download and turn it into a text file and then in the next part of the video I'll show you how I isolate um, keywords and make a keyword list for my article writer all you have to do to download this keyword list is come over here to the download tab and select all now you're going to choose it's going to say format here you're going to choose CSV for Excel. You can choose CSV, TSV, XML, or GZIP CSV. You want to choose CSV for Excel. Even if you don't use Excel, like I don't, I use OpenOffice Calc, which is the equivalent of like free equivalent to Excel. But even if you don't use Excel, you still want to do it this way. Just click download. It'll take a couple of seconds. It'll get your file ready for download, and then it's going to prompt you to download the keywords to save the keywords to wherever you want to save it to so I'm just going to save it to the desktop save it to my desktop so it's easy to work with 
All right, and it's as simple as that. Now my keyword file has been downloaded to my desktop. Okay, it's right here. So I'm going to go ahead and open this with Open Office Calc. If you use Excel, then you can open it with Excel. But I use Open Office Calc, so I'm going to open it with Open Office Calc. Now, if you're using Open Office, it's important that you select Tab because this is the format that you want your keyword uh, spreadsheet to open in. If you select comma, it's it's going to open like that. But you just want to select Tab, okay? Click OK. So here we have all of that information that we uh, that the Google AdWords keyword tool provided for us, but now it's been downloaded into a spreadsheet. Okay, now what you want to do is go ahead and open a blank notepad file. Just go ahead and minimize that for later. Now, here are the keywords in column A. Uh, you don't really need, a lot of people like to keep column C, like I said, they like to have this information, but I'm not going to keep it because I really don't use it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of these columns here that I don't want. I'm going to right click and click delete. So now what I have is just the column with all of the keywords. And what I'm going to do now is highlight all of my keywords. Okay, there's 800 keywords. Highlight all 800 keywords. Okay. I'm going to copy and I'm going to open back up my notepad file, click paste, and they're all going to be pasted into my notepad file. So now I have my master keyword list for niche articles, okay, and there's like 800 keywords here, so this is fantastic. I'll never, probably never need any other keywords. I'm going to save my notepad file, I'm going to call it marriage help master very simple click save so now I have my keyword list and like I said in the next video I'm gonna show you how to take the keywords in this list and isolate them by using certain criteria on Google so that we can determine if these are good keywords that we'll be able to rank our niche articles for. Now because the key is ranking your niche articles well in the search engines to produce a lot of traffic to your blog. Now a lot of these keywords are going to be, the, the com competition is just going to be too high. And I'm going to show you the criteria that I use to find good keywords to send to my writer and have them write niche articles for me. Um, and I will also show you how to create, how I create a, uh, another text file that I can send, uh, to my writer, uh, for them to write the article. So that'll be in the next video. But now you know how to, uh, create yourself a great keyword list. And if I close all of this out, here's my keyword list right here. If I click on it, it's gonna open on up. And I'll have my whole list of keywords, okay? So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. And I will see you in the next video.